All right, we're here in the cave, so let's kick that, and we just gotta run through this little queue. Hopefully, get up here before it explodes on us. There we go. Simple enough. Fortunately, it doesn't close the gate as soon as it's done, so oh hell, we're getting out of there. And we can use the bell to kind of keep him from uh, rolling all over the place. I'm surprised the red dude hasn't shown us his fire yet. Oh hell. I am caught. <laughs> not sure how the fire got me and not him. Uh, not the roly dude. No, we don't want to go this way. Ah, uh, freaking puzzle in the dark. Awesome. Okay, let's see. So we want to kick this one here. And then we'll kick that one there. And that goes there. And this one goes up. And across. And that's that. Let's see. Alright. That can go like that. This. And there we go. Takes a little bit more thinking than, uh, most of the puzzles, but we don't need the candle anymore, but we can do it with just a little bit of thought. And this is a fun room. Ah, man. Oh, well. That's what we got tons of lives for. You're done, fool. Man, I hate it when they kick those glowy ones without me realizing it. Fortunately, this is why we keep the bell, though, because we can definitely... Wow, what? Man. This is not cool, man. Oh, wait. <laughs> You're going to explode. <laughs> All right, so another black puzzle. We want to kick this yellow brick down, down, and across so we can break that. This is where the puzzles are much easier with a second player, but still not that, not really difficult by yourself. Yeah, and we want to kick this that way. Don't be fooled by this just lying there waiting to be kicked. Click. We stop the waterfall, and we can move onward by using our hookshot. And I believe this is the last room before the boss. It's the only level that doesn't have a big key in it. I'd like to get rid of these green... Oh, you fool! You took the hit! Oh, crap. Yeah, I knew I was marked there. Man, I hate these saber dudes. And look, the red dude's gonna take the hit again! Freaking honestly. Freaking hate it when they do that, and they always do. This might be a good opportunity to... Yeah, cherries. Get a little bit of health, see if we can't find some food or a red gem. Good enough, we may find some in the next area. But not in here, because this is the boss. A really tedious boss. 
it's these caterpillar dudes, these cave centipedes, whatever you want to call them. You can be pretty safe standing right here. When it shakes, they're going to drop these uh, spikes from the ceiling. And since the way it is, uh, you can only throw once every turn. And you have to hit them in the head. You can also fall. You can stand at the door, you can stand at the... Uh, in between, like, where they cross. Like, right over in the in the four-way four, four -way stop area, kind of, like, you know, the cross sections. Because then you can always eva uh, evade to the top or side. Oh, man, come on. I guess with the uh, generous hit detection that I've been experiencing on some of the areas, I'm making up for it now. There we go. And they'll gradually get faster. As will the spikes falling. But I like to just stand by the door. It's one less obstacle to deal with. Since they don't normally bunch the spikes up too much on top of you. And this is just the entire fight. I like it when two of them come out. It's usually a lot easier to hit one. Because they have a tendency to go, uh, you know, horizontally as opposed to vertically. Oh, what, Goofy? I hate it when he overshoots. Oh, I was not paying attention there, that's for sure. Oh, well, we had food, so... Bam. Now, even though they're losing one section at a time, we don't actually have to get them down to just one section. I believe the green guy only has one hit, maybe two. Well, yeah, he's down to one hit now for sure. Whoa, that's close. So yeah, pretty boring fight, I know. Two more hits though and they should be done. Whoa, that's a lot of spikes. I just wish you could get more than one hit on them. It's, I mean... That's one down. And you want to come across right in front of my face, green dude? No, of course not. I figured I'd miss that one. Come on. Give me a softball pitch. There we go. Aw, oh, Goofy didn't have enough time to, uh, you know, show off his guns again, but... Whatever. Yeah, it's always a long stage just because those dudes are paying. But next time, hey, it's a pirate ship. Goofy's for some reason on a vine. And somehow got tangled in it. <laughs> ah, it's the Pirate King. No, wait, no, it's not. Yes, they think Pete is their leader. He's <laughs> a used car salesman. So, next time, we'll begin the final level. Yeah, it's been a real short series, I know. Ah, listen to that. That's some good final level music right there. Really fitting. So, you know, we got a little bit of time. Let's pick up these barrels so we don't have to waste any time in the next video. Alright, some cherries what we need. Next time, we'll storm the pirate ship and hopefully save Pete. Maybe not the next video, but certainly the one after. Later.